All right, so I'm gonna get a John Deere 6420 brush cutter doodad. So one of the problems we're having is the fuel sender isn't sending and the speedometer is cutting out and I was looking at some of the codes and it appears like we're having quite a few other issues um, I don't know how long these codes have been stored in here all I know is that they're in here so I'm going to delete them because it seems to be a problem that's kind of coming and going so I'm gonna delete the codes that are in here and then see what comes back so I know what I have as my problems because this tractor is a lot older than I am and I don't know if anybody else well, not older than I am, but it's been here longer than I have been. So I don't know if anyone else has cleared any of these or anything of that nature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to check the codes on this. And I will put a link in the description that you can go to and then you can get the code list. It's, uh, it's like a manual that's for a, a bunch of different tractors of this style, I guess. I don't know. There's, there's like 10 of them that are in the list. And they uh, they have the module, and then they have the code list for the module. So first thing you want to do is turn the key on for four seconds at least. So that's about four. So you get this little toggle switch right there. Pull that back after four seconds and hold that for uh, four seconds, I think. And we go into diagnostic mode. So now you're going to use your turn signal to make your selections to select up and down, and you use your hazard light switch to uh, actually like enter, select. So we're in diagnostic mode. Let's go up. So here we get devices all, address is zero. Now I already checked all the codes in this and the only codes I had were in the basic control unit and then the basic informator. Uh, the ones in the control unit really weren't anything that's going on right now. I cleared those just to see. Um, and the ones for the informator, I'm bet betting is all of our problems here. So we're in devices all, address zero. So if you want, you can select so you now it says ecu i don't know if you can see this i'll just read it, it says device as ecu and then epc and bif so you if you stay into all and you select it you will look at all of the things but right now i'm selecting just a specific module or whatever you call them control unit because this is where i know i have a bunch in there the first time i did it i, I went to all so now that i'm on device bif on off so I select it so now I had selected BIF I am looking through my addresses so I can go address 1 I can go address 23 which is input and see data is 23 I can select all my uh, addresses and inputs and stuff on the module 24 input is 0 27 28 so depending on what you are looking for, you can do your diagnostics with that. And this is basically like, I, I, I believe it's like a pin check for all the stuff and you can see what's at those addresses. And you can, if you have the troubleshooting guide or or whatever type of, I don't know, I don't know if it's factory information or, I know there's some type of system that you can get with John Deere for diagnosing these, but. So I imagine you probably look in there and you do you check your addresses and see what you got by cycling through. So anyway, I'm on data code. I'm going to come down here, on off. So I selected it, and there's one of my codes. So you got SPM, FMI. I think OC is going to be occurrence. I don't know if it's occurrence, but I do know that when you look at the list, it's going to give you a number, point, and another number. So the SPN is the first part of the number. Point 
so this would be zero 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 nine six point zero three so put the FMI at the end of the number and that's how you get your code so now I can cycle through all my codes by hitting my little switch and we go through all the codes so basically just cycle up you gotta kinda give it time you can't just click through fast it takes doesn't seem to register like that so now we're at the end clear code so you hit your up down done now there's no more codes so I just zero done or none so I guess zero zero one is codes or maybe zero zero is codes I don't know whatever it was at the beginning so if you want to back out of where you are you take this hold it up for two seconds one two let it off and now we just went backwards so we come back up one two let it off we actually just cycle through that's a little weird all right maybe I was back to none and then I did it one two all right no huh that's weird because before, I don't know, I backed out last time I did that. Kind of strange. Um, all right, maybe I just had to hold it longer. Maybe it's four seconds. I don't know, but as you see, I just held it a little bit longer and it backed out. So now you can get back to the EPC or whatever you want. So let's say you select that, you go into that. Now you're in the addresses, none, like this. Hold it up. Yeah, so you just have to hold it a little bit longer than two seconds. Maybe it's four. Or maybe it's a long two. I don't know. But now you can check your stuff again or go through your other modules. And uh, once you get back to that module section, you just hold that up for the four, like the back button, and you're back to the beginning. So now basically you're out of the diagnostic mode. Um, inside the link that I'll have in the description there's also a section that's actually with the codes that will show you exactly what I've done they tell you they show you there's a picture it shows you what the levers are which levers you're going to use and what they do and how to make them do what you want it to do so it, it tells you what you need to do with the lever to make it function and uh, do what you need so this is just kind of a basic overview of uh, how to do it, just to kind of show you. Um, if you need anything else in depth or with the codes or something, I mean, I don't know too much about this specifically, but uh, I figured this can at least get you started. It can get you the codes out. It can show you how to get the codes out, and it can tell you what the codes are. So. Anyway, hope that can help somebody. Thank you for watching.